Look at this. This is a madness. Wow. Anyway, good morning, beautiful people. Frank Valkyrie here in Amsterdam. It's another wonderful warm day. Wow, we're really blessed here this summer. It's been like this for a week and my color is changing. Can you imagine? Like a pale Italian getting a little bit of tan. Which I usually do when I'm back in Italy, but here it's never like uh, three weeks in a row sunny, so you never have a chance to stand in the sun a little bit. Anyhow, this short video of today, I just want to talk about something that it seems very obvious, but it's of paramount importance in our lives, and it's self-love and love in general. We give for granted through our relationships, the one created by nature, through your family, siblings, and sometimes your wife or your girlfriend, that the love is there. But not only most of the time we neglect love and self-love, but sometimes we give it for granted in a way that we only realize how valuable that connection with another human being is only when you go through long period of time of loneliness or being by yourself or just life kicks you in the balls and you realize you know how painful it is to lose somebody that you were attached to so it occurred to me especially for older people like people of my generation you know like people in their late 30s early 40s maybe 50s you know you grow up and you tend to just be busy with your life creating your life striving and sometimes happens that a lot of people don't have the time to either uh, create a bond or create a relationship with another person and uh, the more that happens or at least doesn't happen the more you focus on your own life and your own creation and so on and so forth which is great but I can tell you by personal experience, you know, I've had relationships, I've had long relationships, and I noticed personally for me in this long period of time, uh, by just being by yourself, uh, keep working, keep growing, and all that kind of stuff that uh, you gotta, you gotta do, you know, your own dreams, your own things, your own achievements, and just on the side, you you notice that you don't have as many friends as you used to be, also because friends, uh, they just, you know they do their things and also when you're an expat for instance like expats probably are hit more by this because people move and you are just you know like the friends you have they move so uh, you find yourself with less and less true connections and because you grow and you're busy you have less time to venture out and open up to other people so that's what I noticed and I noticed how valuable how valuable friendships love love through friendship whatever connection through intimate connection of the souls how valuable they are and how much you should pay attention to it if you have anyone around you and it does not matter if right now they are like 500 meters away or they are like 6,000 miles let's put it uh, I'll say miles away you gotta understand that those connections are valuable because I do believe that connections are possible between any humans, but you know, like in reality, it takes a little bit of time because there is the character, there is the habits that we have, and not always we manage to validate, you know, to overcome those things right away to get to the core of the people that we have in front and the other way around. So it might take a little longer, but I do believe that connections are truly possible between most mammals, most humans, uh, because we are creatures of the soul. We're creatures of the souls, and even though uh, we might speak different languages, even though we might be at different stages of awareness, I'm pretty sure that there is that knowledge inside of us, that it's been there for quite a while, and it just becomes a little harder to harvest it again, to go look for it in the memory into the genetic memory, whatever, uh, to bring it up to the surface again. Some people are better attuned with that part of themselves. They can feel the sort of ancient wisdom within them and they have a, a you know, easier time uh, being around, surrounded by love, giving love and receiving love. But going back to, uh, you know, going back to us, I noticed how valuable it is 
love self love like acceptance of acceptance of the self nurturing yourself uh, completely seeing your body and embrace it and this does not mean condoning if you are, have unhealthy habits or you feel like you're too much overweight and you want to shed some pounds do that but the start of the day is embracing yourself because you have this shell there is so much mystery in this life despite the fact you do believe in some you know like a, a entity that it's guiding us or not despite you're an atheist or you're a believer it does not matter there's still so much mystery to this life you know the very universe the very fabric of the universe the very cells that make us and atoms and all those things and the energies and all the unknown and all the marbles that just connects all of us because we are fruit of this environment you know we're fruit of those explosions of those incredible uh, just billions of years of movements and we're just beginning to understand so it's always good and a good practice to leave a little bit the door open to possibilities without slamming anything and i'm not telling you to believe in fairies but you got the point there's so much mystery out there so it's a good habit just to have a hope a heart open heart and an open mind and um, going back to self-love wow you gotta love yourself you you really gotta love yourself look at yourself and just cherish this shell that you are inhabiting now because you are inhabiting it now for um, many years you will be inhabiting this thing for whatever time and it's yours it's you it's part of you it's serving you it's helping you to stay healthy to walk to move to achieve your things it's there with you always trying to heal always trying to support you in every direction so cherish it cherish it completely cherish your body love it love it yourself fully and start to open up to the love of others give love receive love love is the most powerful thing well probably yes and i can tell you that like little doggies or cats that need to cuddle we need exactly the same thing and it might sound silly but you need that type of love you need that type of unconditional cuddling you need that kind of a warmth because it really nourishes the soul it heals every wound and it makes us feel less alone because we are not creature of being alone it doesn't matter if you are a loner or if you are a sociable person even a loner needs somebody to interact with at that level and perhaps a loner needs less of that i find myself needing for instance less people around me i'm not always I don't always have the desire of being around people uh, or I don't need a lot of energy around me all the time but I can definitely tell you that the more I'm growing the more I'm cherishing those few friendships that I have distance or close that you just get each other understand each other you value each other without judgment you're already at the point where there is a, a certain type of awareness so you can comfortably uh, be without uh, fear of being misunderstood about your vulnerabilities and everything which is mostly the case with other interaction you know we always bring forth our uh, perception our ego we always bring forth what we think it's us and we lay, lay it on the table like this is me accept it or walk away without truly starting a conversation and that's what sometimes is lacking in a relationship and also why relationships or whatever kind either intimate of love or friendship they end because there is this sort of egocentric behavior of presenting yourself putting yourself first and not wanting to communicate truly um, and sometimes that happen very easily you know like abusing one another vulnerabilities and that's uh, that's not nice so once we learn how to communicate in a way that goes beyond the ego, beyond the necessity of asserting ourselves through our ego, uh, you can start to build incredible relationship of true value where there are no expectations. And by no expectation, as I don't mean like no complete no attachment, um, which is also good. Trying not to be attached to things or anything, it's, it's very healthy. It spares you a lot of drama a lot of pain and for me it's something that i'm practicing 
every day, every day. And of course, like every other human, I get attached. So it's a practice that you keep doing, that you keep doing to learn, to learn how to avoid unnecessary pain, unnecessary wound, unnecessary scars on your body that you don't need. So to embrace unconditional love and cherishing those friendships that you have around you that of true value, you will see that you know your soul will be completely nourished, completely nourished because that sense that we all seek, that sense, that, that strange uneasiness that we all have inside of us, that we seek for almost invisible ends that can just you know, rock us back and forth as if we were like newborns. You know, that sense is still in us with that, that desire of truly being protected, being welcomed, being totally forgiven and embraced, like surrender completely to time and space and the universe with their realization and awareness that we are loved, that we are cared for. This is something that is in all of us. And it's also the reason why, why this fragile thing, when it's mistreated, causes so much pain in us. And we spend most of our lives to try to heal that. And I understood that at a certain point. I don't remember where, but I understood that. And the more I'm growing, the more I'm cherishing those true connection. And I want to water it like a flower, like a plant, or like a tree all the time to look forward to 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 be together, to be together in an extended sense, you know, in an extended sense, not only with your immediate family, but also with just beautiful people that you encounter in life, start to be connected truly without expectation, without judgment, without ego, and just dance, dance each other to the end, dance each other to grow, to embrace this beauty of life. We are here, we, we deserve to be here, we earn to be here, and let's be together in a way that can be better than everything we have seen before. So, that's all I have to give you today. Self-love.